Hey there, thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoy it. Just taking a moment to remind you to hit that thumbs up button if you do like what you see, and to subscribe for more every single day. I also have Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, all three of which are linked in the description below. Thanks again, and enjoy the rest of the video. What's up guys, it's Mizuna, we're playing some Pantheon in the top lane for you today. We're starting Corrupting Pot and a Warding Totem and gonna make our way up there. Runes today are the Darius runes from my last League of Legends video. That is attack damage marks other than one, which is a critical chance. Attack speed, quintessences, armor, seals, and a mix of magic resist and cooldown reduction per level glyphs. Up to 10% cooldown reduction at level 18. Masteries are 18-12-0, taking Thunderlord's Decree. We are up against a gangplank in this lane. Which is a little bit frightening because Gangplank is probably top three, if not the number one top laner at the moment. He's just so very powerful. Um, if he's good. If he's not, then he's worthless. But if he's a good Gangplank, then he's it's really quite scary. So I am going to leash this Kha'Zix. He's starting on his blue side, which makes sense. Uh, starting top on Kha'Zix is a good way to avoid cheese that he occasionally suffers from, especially, well, their bot lane can't really punish him, but I, I know I've played in bot lanes before that have just gone and straight up killed him at his buff, Onward. taken the buff, nothing he can do about it, feels bad, man. Um, but not really, since he was on the enemy team. So I am going to tank two hits for this guy, uh, because my first hit can be tanked because... Oh man. Yeah, so the first hit can be tanked because of my passive, although I forgot that that's not actually true. Alright, he saves smite, which is weird. That's not really a thing that you should do. Just don't save smite. If you're a jump leader, don't save smite. Ugh. Because it's frustrating for the laners that have to. You know, okay. Anyway. Saving Smite is very frustrating for laners because they don't know how, like, much damage your Smite does. They can't see it like you can. Uh, so they're not sure when to stop attacking and when to leave and get to lane. And it's just, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So if you're a jungle main listening to this, can I cue his barrels? Onward. Scum. Okay, so this boy's half health now. That's really good for us. My ping is a little bit higher than usual, 101. I'm, it's usually around 62, pretty much constant. So, kind of interesting there. I did block that hit with my passive, which is kind of cool. I am out of mana here, which is a problem for us. Uh, that's going to be a big problem, actually. I, I tried to punish this guy a lot in the early. Oh, that actually went through sad. I thought I, I thought I out gangplank mechanicalized this game. Man, he hurts. All right, save up my passive and save it for hopefully save it for a barrel. The goal here. All right, so he is pushed and there. My Kha'Zix wants to gank for me. Do it. There's a splash. Nice. Nicely done. That's gonna that's gonna hurt him a lot. In this lane, it means that I can get a bit of a CS advantage here. Not a huge one. Certainly an experience advantage. Do I even? Wow, I'm CSing poorly. Immediately. Got that one. Awesome. Okay. Okay. I know my power. All right, I'm gonna back here. 
here. I've got my TP. Um, you know what? No, I'm not. Because I want enough special fields, which is 1100. And I'm almost there. So I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna farm up a little bit more. What? How did I miss that thing? Rito, please. Thanks for the free gold, yo. You can't trade autos with me. What you thinking? Poke! Accept it. Accept the poke. Accept the poke to your face. I, if I stay, I can kill this guy. Like, straight up, I can absolutely kill this guy if I stay. Or not. Oh my gosh, I wasn't looking at his health bar. Just increase there. That was wild. Freaking game, man. Like, he's got awesome sustain, right? So you can't really poke him down. You can't CC him and burst him, because the same thing that gives him sustain also gives him basically a get out of jail free card on not. any form of CC. Kind of feels bad. Triple barrel me. You think you're funny. Okay, just gonna stack up my passive here. Don't want to miss the siege. Alright, he is level 6. Should be very cautious. Just using, whenever I have mana for it, I'm using my spear on him to get a little bit of poke down. Because I do not want to... With pride. Oh my gosh, feels bad, man. No. No. For whatever reason, I thought I had Thunderlords there, I'll be completely honest. Um, which is why I kinda went for three hits. He didn't punish me for it, so fine. But I thought I had Thunderlords to rock, and I was wrong. Come here. What, you don't wanna, you don't wanna scuffle anymore? Oh, he, Kha'Zix wants to kill this boy again? <laughs> he ate his orange, like, a long time too early there. Alright, I'm gonna back here. I do have 2,000 gold. Uh, silly, silly. Alright, gonna get the Caulfield's Warhammer. Cooldown reduction, very important stat for me. Uh, like, hugely, hugely important. As So much so that most Pantheons rush... Uh, Lucidity boots because it's just it really is that important Do to get the cooldown me. reduction. Okay, gonna TP right onto this minion. TPing into lane, not really the best use of it most of the time. An ally has been slain. But I did not want to miss all of this dang farm. There he is. Leveling is I don't know. It kind of looks like it. <laughs> wow, this guy's getting poked like crazy. Yeah, you can't you can't trade poke. Just don't try. Wow, I feel like if I just if I had taken ignite, this guy would have been dead already. But instead, I'm just gonna completely zone him off. Wow. This feels good. This feels really good. Like, this guy's scared of me. Very, very scared of me. I'm taking minion aggro, and he still can't even attempt to trade. Like, no way can this guy trade with me. Honestly, if I jump on him right now, like, it, watch, ready? We're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him right now. Because he's greedy for these minions. Oh, no. Once again, there's that GP. Uh... Gonna poke. 
Can I poke? He's he's too scared. I've scared him completely. Okay. All right. So now I need to be very cautious about the is there juggler Udir gang. He hasn't been top at all yet. I'm guessing he will be soon because now I'm winning this lane by like a really large margin. Not provoking you. And I'd be if I was this Udir, I'd be looking up here and going, okay, I should probably pay attention to this lane. Do I have enough? for my Black Cleaver yet. Can he even trade with me after TPing back into the main? Is the question. It doesn't look like it looks like it. It looks like this guy can't do anything to me. Like, at all. Nah, he, he can't. He can't trade with me at all. Immediately. so low already. Oh my gosh. Now if I just save up some mana, poke him down more and more and more, like he can't do anything. Nope. The Sudir did not lead with his stun, which was an odd choice. Um, in general, when ganking on Udir, get the stun, because that's kind of what you're good for in ganks. Okay, I'm actually gonna... Another... Gonna stay for that wave because I don't want him to push it under tower for free, basically. So, how far am I of my black? Oh man, I was a hundred gold off. I should have stayed. Absolutely should have stayed. That's fine. That's fine. I can just grab my call fields, my phage, and. Uh, Death Stance next, so another Longsword. Now, if he stays, I can ult in on him and kill him. That's the plan here. He is staying. I mean, alright, if that's what you want to do. It's probably not going to go over very well for you. I'm going to ult here. This flash for nothing but my ult, which was used to get into lane anyway. So I'll take it. <laughs> I'm having fun. Like, Pantheon is one of the scarier matchups I've ever experienced. What is he doing? He's tilted. He's tilting. Like, he's crazy. He's a madman. I can't understand. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to start spreading this love elsewhere. Um, I'm gonna just start focusing a lot on farm here for a little while. Because top lane is often about farm. Has anybody taken a turret? We have, yes. Free gold. Shut down. Let's do this, grab that, level up my ulti, grab that, grab that. Let's get this tower and then I'm gonna start roaming. They will not enjoy so that is a free tower for us. Gangplank is finally back to lane. We have enough for the Black Cleaver. Enough for the Black Cleaver, and then probably another Call Fields? I don't know, actually. Yeah, enough for the Black Cleaver and another Call Fields. So, yeah, that's good. Almost got my ulti. I'm gonna start roaming. Because I've got Teleport. So, I'm going to start spreading the love here. Cossacks gave me a lot of attention early game. 
He got two kills, and that allowed me to kill the gangplank. Excuse me, it seems I have the hiccups quite easily in lane. Um... Oh, oh. Found him. Haha. Uh -huh. Are they trying for the dragon? What are they doing? My speed. Where'd he go? How did he know? He ran for that health. Alright. Die! That's all I wanted! Jeez! The CC is ridiculous. Oh, poor, poor enemy team. Now, my engage here was actually very good. Because it baited them all in, I killed the Sivir, and then my team cleaned up. It was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted to do, and exactly what I should have done. I'm uh, gonna sell that, actually going to buy... Ooh, can I afford them? Yes, I can. I want... Ninja Tabai, maybe? Yeah, Ninja Tabai against this team comp. They are almost all AD, um, so the armor's gonna help, and then auto attacks from Sivir will not do me as much damage. It's a good buy. I'm gonna go back top lane now because Your there's a lot of farm there that I could be absorbing into myself. So let's do that. This is the third game in a row where I've played uh, Pantheon and the early game has just been an absolute slam dunk. Are they even trying? Are they just giving up at 60 minutes? Is this a thing? Wait, wait, guys, we can go further. We're all five here. Why don't we just siege? I don't know why we're not sieging and getting that in here. there he was dead. and he knew it so good on him we have way better wave clear than them TP there. I was like, I'm on it. I'm TPing right now. Let's do this. But then I decided that it was a bad idea. That's what went through my head. Oh, you know what? Maybe this TP is a bad idea. <laughs> I'm in kind of a funny mood tonight, guys. I hope you understand. I hope you're having fun with me. Uh, that's a good thing to, to do. Let's, let's just talk about it. How are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing good? I'm doing really good. It's been a nice day. Um, it's been... Like, there were a few little bumps in the road, as there always will be in life, but overall, the day was a net positive for, for, my, for me, for my mood, for my everything. It was just a good 
Hey. Hope your day was good as well. I wish I was tankier because then the red buff would be awesome. Can you ward, by the way, Viger? That'd be nice. All right, let's just uh, let's just rotato. as soon as I E, E what? Do not e maybe? Me. E that? Instead of that? I'm not really sure. I have no idea what's going on there. Um, so I'm in a situation here where I don't honestly believe that any one of them can pull me. Even the, the Udyr might be a little bit That one might be a little bit if I was to do But everybody else, I very much Tower, but I got a double kill, so worth it. There he is. Please, Vigar? Anything? He just. There you go, now you're at half health. Enjoy that. I, I wish if he had put down a stun, that was a, such an easy kill for us. I, I just don't know. This team doesn't want it. Oh, the gameplay slow is so obnoxious. This is a bait. This is definitely a bait. He's faster than me. All right, I'm getting out of this. No, we don't want it, Vanguard. We do not want it. I'm gonna let Vigar take that because I am. Me fed is not as bad for them as my guard fed. Let's just put it that way, right? Yeah. 
So we are going to take this tower more than likely. Uh, Immediately. I guess I'm going to build a dead man's now. Um, good on you, team. Open and hit mid. That's a good That's That's good. That's very good. So, next. We really need to control this unit. Like, I mean, he's just he's running away from it. She canceled her auto. She canceled her auto. Holy crap, he's taking that fast. Wow, there's nothing I can do about it. He's scared. He knows I can not let him under cover. God, he's so fast! It's ridiculous! Oh my god, he's fast. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Like, I've got a death dance too. Like, I've got tier 2 boots and a death dance, and there's no way. This does. Oh, that doesn't. Phantom Dancer is the one that does. Oh, alright. Cool. He's so fast. Crazy. That was good for us, two for nothing. I don't know what Vayne is passive aggressively passive aggressively dot dot dotting about. I really don't. Um, so I'm just gonna let it go. Whatever, doesn't matter. This is another game. Last game, same thing happened. We got really ahead, followed by we threw really hard, and I don't know why. Vigar, all right. So Kha'Zix is there. Super dead. Udir knew that he wasn't going to have any fun if he walked into that ring. Uh, okay, so we should get an inhib or a tower or something. Like, we should be pressuring Do objectives while me. we are at a 5v3 advantage here. I'm thinking... Vayne looks like she wants top. Top would be a bad idea. No! Alright, they can't. I can't do anything against this. This bootier is massive. Condemn it, condemn it, condemn it. Or just, you know, that's cool too. Got a flash for no reason there. That was funny. And there's the condemn for the guarantee. Very, very scary. Like, I don't know. He got so very far ahead. That did nothing to him. Wow. That was a third proc. This vein is not underfed. He's got an IE abort to Phantom Dancer. Like, that was crazy. Get this in him. Let's go top. Let's get that turret. Take it. 
I want to say objective overkills. I want to let them know what I'm thinking. I need to on the obviously free objectives over chasing kills into the found, like into <laughs> into the nexus turrets. Obviously, this is something that we all know. Like you know, we're not totally new at this game. I mean low silver which is not great but i'm climbing and people should know this stuff you do not chase kills when there's an open inhib right in front of you that you could be getting like particularly right now i'm talking about the bygar but um i'm not saying it's his fault we all get greedy we all get thirsty he's doing really well this game better than i am like a lot better than i am 220 cs he's doing good this game i'm just more i'm talking about just in general those kills wouldn't have gotten us anything. The inhib gets us a ton. Like an absolute ton. Nice. Nice, Spygar. You pushed your outplay button. <laughs> I think we might we might have just ended the game actually. Could be GG here. Um, it should be GG here. was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. You enjoyed myself. No, I'm just joking. I'm just playing around. Seven, eight, seven, and ten there. B plus on that Pantheon game. Not the best game, but not terrible. Our damage dealt was actually higher than Sivers um, and right up there with Udyrs, so we did an okay job. Guys, if you did like this video, as I, I believe there's a little bit of an intro there at the beginning of the video, just, uh, you know, reminding you to hit that thumbs up button. Yes, Hit the thumbs up button. It really does help me out, guys. The likes, the comments, I love it. it. I need it. I live on it. No, I'm just kidding. It's not that serious, but it is really cool. Like, I like you guys getting involved. I like you, you know, tweeting at me. I've gotten some, I've, I've been having some nice Twitter action going on. A lot of people liking some tweets. A lot of people, you know, tweeting back at me. It's really cool. It's awesome to hear from you guys. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't and you're new for more content every single day. We're doing two videos a day, one league and one other series every single day, Monday through Sunday, every week. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, guys, I really hope I see you next time. As always, this is Mizuna signing off.